All right, first things first. Fight night was definitely this weekend. We got to talk about that. Yeah, it went down last night. Floyd Mayweather, Logan Paul. Yes, and on the undercard, we had Chad Ochocinco Johnson versus Brian Maxwell. Can we let's let's just break it down in order. All right. So the undercard, Chad versus Brian Maxwell. I thought this was one of the the highlights of the fight just because to see Ocho Cinco, who was a football player, fight an actual fighter, mm-hmm. um, he got knocked out. Not knocked out, knocked down. <laughs> okay, yeah, knocked down. <laughs> There's a difference because he didn't stay down. We gotta we gotta highlight that. So okay. um yeah, he jumped in the ring with him. Maxwell caught him in the chin. There you go. <laughs> and uh, uh Chad definitely hit the mat. But I thought one of the best things about that was what Chad said after the fight when he was like, my life is just about taking crazy chances and doing crazy stuff and encouraging fans not to be scared to take chances. And he really emphasized that, like, you can't be afraid to fail. And I think that was such a good message because in all of these other fights where we see the people get knocked out and they get clowned and memed and all of that like mm-hmm. we did not see that with chad i know mm. the clip went viral of him hitting the mat but like it wasn't really people clowning him like that it was more so just like yo like chad really got in there like yeah. and they made millions like it was a win at the end of the day so i'm glad that he just put that message out there at the end and he called out conor mcgregor Mm. what did he say about him he said he thinks he's ready for conor mcgregor now even though he lost this fight he thinks he's ready for conor it's the confidence for me I, you better 100 percent <laughs> confidence and i just i love to see it taking chances taking risk and the payoff was big for him yeah it's inspiring low key like high I, key i wouldn't want to get in a ring and get a, a hand to my jaw <laughs> and fall into the ground but with him, when, he, when he said that it's like why not? You know, life is short. Just go ahead and get in the ring. Right. Yeah. Made millions, went viral, and potentially can have another fight coming down the pipeline. Like, hey. this could be a second career for him now if he wants to. It could be. Now, let's get to the main, main event. Mayweather versus Logan Paul. Now, let's talk about, let's start off with the Migos and their performance. Because, you know, mm. you know, fighters and hip hop hand in hand. So, Migos came out, performed straightening. I feel like the announcers and commentators were extremely disrespectful. They were talking all (laughs) over the Migos' performance. Uh Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was was a little awkward for me. Were they talking a lot? I didn't get to catch the fight. I just got to see the clip. (laughs) So, like, were they... What were they saying? Like in the clip I saw, I saw it was Quavo offset takeoff performing into the straight into the camera. They was coming with the energy, but the commentators was just like talking over them, and I was just like, "Wow, is this what they're supposed to be doing?" I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's how it works at fights. I'm, I haven't watched too many fights in my day, but mm-hmm. that was a little awk to me. And then another part of it that a lot of people were talking about was the Migos kicked it off with the performance, so everybody thought that. The Migos were gonna walk Floyd out. Mm-hmm, yeah. But after the Migos performed, Moneybag Yo actually came in and walked Floyd out to the fight. And he was performing time today. I like that, but I was like, okay, dang, I thought the Migos was going. <laughs> right. So what was the point of the Migos? Just the performance? Just to the put fight? on a show real quick, I guess. Huh. But I or maybe Floyd was trying to give both of them the opportunity to shine. So that mm-hmm. was cool, but I just thought that part could have been coordinated a little better. I don't know. Yeah, I guess that is kind of weird. Like, you would have thought that Floyd would have come right next, but I don't know. But then people were talking about the Migos, mm-hmm. how they were looking. They were getting on takeoff the most because <laughs> he done put a little quarantine weight on, which, you know, it's normal. Hey, but I, I have too, man. Yeah. I stand with takeoff because <laughs> the quarantine weight be real, man. It's, it's hard. It was hard staying active, being locked in the house like that. So I feel yeah. takeoff on that. And it's calling him takeout. And I was uh, like, I say, yo, come on. <laughs> Why do I do him like that? <laughs> yeah, so that was the performances. And then the actual fight, of course, Mayweather won, even though they said it's no winner. Yeah, so that's kind of because it's, it's an exhibition fight. Mm-hmm. So, and no one got knocked out yeah. technically. So no one did win, but I guess the scores added up to basically Mayweather winning uh, quotations. You know who really fight. won, though? 
Mayweather's bank account <laughs> and Logan Paul's bank account. True winners of the fight right there. Period. That's why I love these fights so much, man, because it's like any way you slice it, the guys that are in the ring, they're coming out on top. Whether you get knocked out, hit the mat, whether you lose, whether it's an exhibition and there's no winner or loser, like all of these guys got paid big time from this mm. fight. So kudos to them. Yeah, it was, a, it was a good fight night last night. So shout out to everybody that got a check. Yes, and shout out to everybody that was in the audience too, popping out with the fits that mm -hmm. they got with their PPP loans. Yeah. You know, we love to see it. We love it.